Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Hanging out in the backyard, rambling on. This is what I do back here. It is Wednesday, May 1st, 2024. Already. You know what that means. June is next month. Like, how many days in May? Uh, May is 31. Good. It's that one day throws me off, not having that one day. And then, you know, the, the February 28th thing really messes me up. A super nice day out being May 1st. April flew by. Tomatoes are starting to grow a lot. The, the Disney roses are coming in. You should see the, if you haven't seen the Disney videos, you should, but the roses over there are like coming in strong already. I don't know what they're feeding them over there. Truro dust, maybe pixie dust. I don't know. Maybe Patrick Bagora has something to do with it. I really don't know. Um, but it is nice out today doing stuff around the house. Um, any chance we get, you know, it's like, uh, have a few hours here few hours there you know still got to make the priority list haven't made that we just kind of like keep every day just like oh today let's do this and so we haven't we haven't had the need to like um, figure out what to do like oh I wonder what we should do like we've it's all still in the brain so maybe that's why we haven't made the list yet but um, I think I need to go by the depot again like I always got to go to Home Depot it's they're gonna get every dollar of mine but I have this vintage coca-cola clock uh thing that was like it's like from the 80s like uh like you would have it in like a like a door like a like a you'd have it at like a, a sandwich shop a sub shop or something and it would be the coca-cola uh clock on the wall it's like i'll show it to you um but there's some scratches on the plexi yeah i'll show you that later so stay tuned to, to see the cool vintage sign anyways may 1st it's not the worst it's may 1st so there's the coke clock that i was telling you about those numbers are rad Love that font. Anyways, you can see, I mean, it's dusty for one, but then it's got a couple of surface scratches. It's not that bad. It really isn't. Um, I believe it lights up too. Like the, this is like a light box. Um, and then the light, this whole, you know, the numbers, I believe I haven't plugged it in in so long. All right. I just plugged it in and it works. How cool is this? Even the clock still works, man. That is awesome. It's a little yellow. Um, I wonder if that can be cleaned. I could probably pop these off. Interesting. Or maybe I keep it yellow because it's just how it aged. I don't know. Either way, I'm stoked it still works. I've kept this thing on ice for a long time. Well, it looks like we got our new Magic Key magnet. Boom. I think we were there the day they were shooting these uh, photos. They were shooting there and they were shooting over by um, Pixie Hollow. Totally remember that day. It wasn't that long ago. Check this out. So this is one of the zucchinis that uh, sprouted. The others didn't. So I got to throw that in a little pot. There's the strawberry plant that's going crazy that needs to be transplanted. We already pulled one strawberry off and ate it. And it was amazing. Uh, look at this little, this little thing right there. Uh, but yeah, that's your uh, zucchini update. One, <laughs> one for 10. But uh We'll plant it, see what happens. All right, back outside. I got to transplant that little zucchini. So, get some of this potting mix. There we go. I always like to soak the soil before I plant something in there. There we go. Should be enough. All right, there she is. I love these little things because you can just kind of break them off. There's the roots right there coming out of the bottom already. I'm trying to kind of loosen this up a little. All right, there we go. That was easy. Good luck, little feller. All right, now we're going to do Kaylee's strawberry plant that has been waiting patiently we'll dig out a little space and we'll get the shape of the, uh, the cup in there to fit it in there I always like to water these before I release them out of here it makes it slide out easier perfect fit those chimes going off over there all right we'll go throw that in the sun with the rest of them 
All right, we're in the car on the way to Depot because I'm trying to get that plastic stuff or the, the cleaner for my really cool Coca-Cola sign that I showed you guys. Look who's driving. Look who decided to show up for the vlog. The coolest person in the world. Oh my Me. gosh. One of our like light bulbs went out in the bathroom. I saved it right here. It's in the bathroom and um, yeah, so we gotta get, I think two of them are, one's not doing too good. So I'm gonna just get a pack of like five of them or something. And I guarantee there's something else that I'm forgetting. Oh, for sure. So I'm trying to think like right now, like while we're driving there. I love this entry. Thank you very much. Managed to uh, commandeer a little coffee bean. Oh yeah, and I got nectar. I got a smoothie, but it's Where in the it? park. <laughs> You're supposed to show it and be like, check it out. Actually, I'm showing off this backyard citronella candle. Uh, we were looking for these. Honestly. We really were. I just wonder if it gets like no CMs and stuff because I think citronella only works with like mosquitoes and it like decreases them a little bit. And, and don't think we're saying no CMs. We're saying no CMs. Like we love CMs. Yeah. Cast members. No. It has nothing to do with it. No CMs. I know. I feel like what are they? Maybe they're called something else. They're, I'm sure there's a like, technical term that's like really long, but they're known as no CMs. It's the only way you can get her to come to Depot and cruise around. You got to get her a drink first. <laughs> I don't want to cruise around. But... All right, what was it? Oh, well, the birds are in here. You hear them? Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> the sweet sounds of nature. This is where we make Katie go through the, the lumber department. Not my favorite. <laughs> she looks around confused. Do you like the smell, though? It's nice. Look at the pine boards. Look. All right, I decided to get this Turtle Axe headlight lens restore. You know, the stuff that makes the lenses clear. You can see how it's all yellow and then it makes it clear because there is some yellowing, uh, as you saw on that thing. So maybe this will work. I'll try a little bit of this. It's like 12 bucks, so give it a try. Um, I love all these products, by the way. Oh, here's another one, new lens, but that one's 24. Katie, we're going to need a trailer hitch for the, uh, the bends. So I'm thinking maybe, oh, yeah. well, you know, we'll probably maybe get the, the triple there. What you got there, Katie? stud sensor apparently. Wow. See? People think I put that in in post. I didn't. No. Yeah, I actually okay. did. <laughs> Katie, let's just keep this on the level. Okay. Just make sure. Keep it on the low. Well, yeah, keep it on the down low and on the level, but this, there's, you know, different things. I mean, keep it square. It's nice to have a square, you know. I often like uh, having a nice T-square. Katie, you like a, a nice T-square? When you're with somebody like Katie, you need to keep a nice roll of this at all times because there's accidents that happen. I love the tool section. I really do. I'm so typical. Um, look at screwdriver sets, hand saws. Good stuff. I'll show you what we got when we're done here, but we got a few things. Uh, Still gotta go find these lights. Oh yeah, Katie needs her lights. I got stuck in the tool aisle just like having too much fun. Look at those. We're in the lighting section, which is really vibrant. We love the lighting section. Check out this grill. This uh, It's painted white, which is kind of weird. That thing's gonna get dirty so fast. I mean, I think that's why most grills are painted black because the color of soot is that. I mean, I don't know, man. <laughs> the Jumbo Joe. It's a good classic Weber. Come on. Everybody knows this grill. Oh, hey, these are cool. These little planters. The little truck with the succulents. It reminds me of Katie's little project that she recently did with uh, the old fountain that was at the house that she restored and put succulents in. We'll have to show it in the vlog at some point. Kind of digging this Ryobi fan, this clip-on fan. 25 bucks. I just like the color too. I think it's pretty rad. All right, this is kind of genius. Socket air light. 2100 lumens got a fan in the light there's a demo right there now i know the frame rate's making it weird but you can see if that were on the ceiling it would just be hanging straight down that's pretty cool that could be good for the art studio look it's got a little remote too kind of digging that i totally lost katie i started wandering she's looking for light bulbs and i just got like ah, garden section patio ah. I'm in Home Depot, what do you expect? Yeah. It's like Katie at Target, same equivalent. <laughs> Katie, the Ryobi section is awesome just because their brand color is green and it's really cool. It is cool. 
they're pretty smart to do that. All right, we're checking out. We got a uh, little, little, I wanted to get like a toolbox, but they don't really have them here. They have these cool like new school ones. So I'm grabbing that. Right there. Got the replacement bulbs, two packs of these. I could work here. Couple of wrenches. Yeah, I needed a crescent. I needed like a kind of a locking and then another one. So there you go. I got to change the shower head thing. Uh, we got the classic Stanley 25 tape measure. Old school. It's like 11 bucks, dude. Needle nose. Well, big needle nose pliers. And you guys saw the, the headlight stuff for the Coke sign. And that's it. Look at this. They've got the Mexican Coke here. What? And the Fanta Topo Chico Depot. What's up? I wonder what they're charging. Oh, two. 248. That's about average, I guess. So expensive for one of those. All right, buddy. Katie's gonna. Yay! All right, we're back, and I'm looking at the clock. It's, uh, I cleaned it off, just a little soap and water with a microfiber, and you can see that's what I'm talking about is all that kind of scuffing and age. Anyways, try this stuff to see if it works. It says it does. Lens clarifying compound for the car, you know, for the lenses. So maybe I'll try just a little bit to see. I don't want to like wreck it. It says to apply vigorously, so let's see here. All right, well, it didn't really do much. It kind of cleaned it a little bit, but I mean, it says to like start like taking these like really um, wet sandpaper, like super fine wet sandpaper and, and try to buff out the scratches. And I feel like it's going to make it worse. So I'm not going to mess with it. Um, it still works and everything, and it's cleaned up as good as it can be. And it's vintage, so... Oh, sorry about that. Phone died on me. No, it's a vintage piece. I don't want to, like, mess with it. Um, maybe I could find people who restore this kind of stuff and figure out how to make it good. You know, sometimes people are like, just leave it. The scratches are part of the character, so uh, whatever. Um, it's fine. It's cleaned up, ready to go. It works. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it in my office or I'm going to put it in the uh, what is going to be the art studio. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. Anyways. Well, well, well. Dinner time. Katie made spaghetti. Check it out. Spaghetti and meatballs. Yes. The easiest, yummiest, I'd say. And we got cookies for dessert. We do. Who's kind of craving spaghetti? Like yeah, when I know. We were, I was like, oh, let's go to Spaghetti Factory. And then we were like, or let's not. Yeah. Because we don't have to. We can sit here. Go to Katie's Spaghetti Factory. Yeah. Have some liqueur, although they do have the Vanager's favorite, the uh, meat and zithera. The Vanager's or the Vanager's? Did I say Vanager? <laughs> I don't know what you said. I don't know, but they have the Manager's favorite, and they have that meat and zithera, and like, it is pretty good. Plus, in Fullerton, they have the trains there. But anyways, we're going to eat now, and we'll see you later. See you next time. Thank you.